Hi, I'm David Dutton, and welcome to Behind the Scenes of Kill Phil. Last week, we did the Looper Blunderbuss. Uh oh, new toy, man, I play. <laughs> State of the art, boom boom. Very nice. Our guest was Joe Penna. Just so I have it, run up and, and shoot right yeah. into the lens. Action. How many people have you wasted? Oh my God, my back was so I don't drink much, but I know that's what it is. And I gotta say, he clicked with everyone, especially Chicken, the parrot. No, I like you. Huh? Alright, that's his thing. So for the gag, we needed future selves of Joe. We just peppered his hair gray and his beard. Send your mom a picture like this. Stress is killing me, mom. How you doing, buddy? Good. Practicing my Bruce Willis here. For Phil, we bought him some beards. Uh, he ended up looking kind of like old Fu Manchu-ish, but uh, it worked. It probably looked better on me, actually. Gears. Old Phil. From the future. <laughs> Our VFX this week was actually really simple. Just shoot him! So first we shot young Joe, and then we'd shoot a version of old Joe and comp the two together. For the punch, we put a green screen behind Joe, and then old Joe punched through a plate, and the arm didn't cross over his face correctly, so I had to mask out a layer of the arm and put it on top. There's a shot where Joe shoots at his old self. Instead of having gold on his back, Joe has a laptop. Um, I don't know why, because he's a YouTuber and internet's important to him. So we needed a hole to blow in the middle of the laptop. I was going to just motion track it and put some VFX in there, maybe a JPEG of a hole. But then Rick had a better idea. <laughs> this is something I've always wanted to do. Laptop drill hole saw. Let's get right down to it. Yeah, baby. Oops. Oh, it helped me just plug in. Oh, safety first. Don't forget your safety goggles, kids when you're destroying pieces of the expensive equipment. Oh, man. You sure you want to hold the other wet dream right there. Ready? Yep. Okay, jump out, and boom, you got hit! Pretty awesome. When you can take a practical prop rather than do it in VFX, take it. So, our last effect was, of course, going to be blowing a hole inside Phil, making some blood fly out. And, again, Rick comes over, he says, I think I can do this. This is the hitboxes. <laughs> you got the battery pack, has a safety arm power, uh, so... It's charged. Uh, you plug it in and then they plug it to you like this. So you boom underneath your shirt. And then boom, hopefully it booms out that. This is the firecracker. And that internal like safe. Trust me. Looks totally safe. Trust me. You got tape. I've done it to myself so many times. I'll let you know this is quarter inch thick leather. Bullets won't even 22 won't penetrate this. You probably won't feel anything. Yes. You paid for harder hits. <laughs> Can, can your frail body take this? Gonna what do you think? Your expertise there. Now, when you like, I felt like Iron Man. <laughs> you were Iron Man. That's <laughs> big. Action! Whoa! Whoa! No, whoa! No! 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 The split wouldn't go off, and that's because we were using a 12 volt battery, and it just wouldn't charge the, the explosion. No! 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 Action! Oh, whoa, no, whoa, no, 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 Good job, man. Blood out of your You better have that check, Fernando. Let's see it, Doc. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and please come next week. We're doing our first gun from the Star Wars franchise. So, see you then. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.